Hello everybody, I am back, and today we are continuing on with the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we caught a Bidoof named Helga. We caught a Bronzer named Klosh and got promptly trolled by another Bronzer. And I went and revived the Armor Fossil into a Shieldon named Bastion, who has a really high defense stat in 51, higher than his HP. Oh yeah, and Klosh is Levitate, so he's weak to only fire. And then there's just Helga. Anyways, in this episode, we are going to take on the Eterna City Gym. I know we're not, like, perfectly leveled for this. Gardenia's highest is 22. However, we have three flight or three Pokemon that are good against Gardenia. Sinatra the Shiny Cricketoon. Batman the Zubat, and Honey Bun the Vespa Queen. And then there's also Nala and Scarlet and Squishy here too. Whatever I do, I don't want to use Squishy for this gym. But yeah. Gonna have Sinatra tackle the early trainers. And then quickly grab this item. It's a super potion, that's pretty helpful. And now let's go say hi to Gardenia. Hello! Hi, I'm Gardenia. I'm this town's gym leader. My last challenger was this awfully speedy young guy named Barry, or Roy. Actually, his name was Roy. Okay, so Gardenia gets it right. I don't, as usual. He told me about you. He said that another challenger is on the way, so that would be antsy. At my gym, no one gets the, to battle with the gym leader, me, until the end. The challenger has to beat all the other gym trainers first. I'll be waiting for you in the back trainer. Don't disappoint me. In Diamond and Pearl. The gym was a forest where you had to go find everyone in this. It's a pretty awesome looking clock. What do you have to say? Hey there, how's it going, champ to be? Actually, that's what I said to some boy who zipped in here too. I think his name was Barry. The gym leader, Gardenia, is a user of grass type Pokemon. It should be obvious, but grass type Pokemon really hate fire. They're also at a huge disadvantage against the flying type too. Oh, wait a second, I should tell you about the gym itself first. You can't challenge the gym leader until you beat all the gym's trainers. It's a bit challenging, but just think of it as good training and go for it. Yep. So, I'm gonna start with Sinatra. Hey, do you fight me? Yes. Welcome, without further ado, let's -a go! And yeah, just straight off the bat. Here's Last Caroline with a Cherubi. That's great. It's. Yeah, it doesn't know any status moves, I don't think, outside of Leech Seed. Yeah, Gardenia is actually a pretty big difficulty jump for this early in the game. Two of her three members are fully evolved. One of them is a stage two. It's a Rose Raid, spoilers. Come on, Sinatra! <laughs> Please don't miss. Sinatra. Sinatra! Uh, that was... Yeah, Sinatra is going to be taking on the trainers because he's the lowest level of our three grass killers. Okay, thank you for hitting that time. And also just because I want to give my shiny Pokemon more screen time. <laughs> but yeah, I... Cricketoon... I love Cricketoon even more so after the shiny. But, like, I don't know, I... I don't think they're really good. And it pains me to see. I'm switching out because if Sinatra misses, he's dead. Let's get Scarlet some experience. Frustration! It's... Frustration is still pretty strong. Because Scarlet probably still hates me. I want to love you. I I want to love you, Scarlet. It's a Roselia, so Sinatra wouldn't have been able to hit this for super effective damage anyways. So let's go in with frustration again. Yep, look at that. I wish you had Limber. Actually, what do you have? Oh wait, no, Limber is the hidden ability, I think. Which explains why you don't have Limber. I think you have Cute Charm. Because I'm... Scarlet. Pretty sure you don't have Klutz. I am actually... Am I actually seriously going to go need to heal after this? Scarlet. 
Thank you. Yeah, let's heal. <laughs> Alrighty, I... Wait, do I have Parlor Seals? The clock will turn now. The gym's floral clock. You can walk on its hands. That's how you get to the next trainer. So yes, you are forced to fight every trainer. I would have anyways. There we go. Alright, what items do I have? Because I don't want to have to run back to the Pokemon Sun. Okay, I have one Parlous Heal, which I can give to Scarlet, and then one su Super Potion, which I can accidentally give to Scarlet, so I'm going back to heal anyways! Be prepared for a lot of that, and I'm gonna buy potions before I head back into. Just to make things a little easier, or so I don't waste everyone's time rushing back and forth. For this gym, you also want to get Antidotes and Parlous Heals, if only because Stun Spore and Poison Point. Most of the Badoos and Roselias in this gym will know Stun Spore, and all of the Roselia line has Poison Point. Which can be really annoying, actually. And now back to the gym we go. But yeah, I don't think I ever finished my thought on Cricketune. You know, the problem with Cricketune lies in the fact that it is an early game bug. And early game bugs can be good. I've got a Beedrill and a Butterfree on my Fire Rod team, and they're both really solid. It's obviously not a Nuzlocke. My grass type Pokemon can dole out some serious special attacks. I won't let you win easily. But yeah. It's not a Nuzlocke, the Beedrill is actually shiny, which is great. It's that Weedle was my first ever shiny, now it's a Beedrill. But, I don't know. Like, it's hard to explain, but early game bugs, they're very hit or miss. Thank you for missing. And thank you for not missing. Drat. Okay, hey, Sinatra, if you cannot be paralyzed this one turn to finish it off with Fury Cutter, that would be great. You may- <laughs> Sinatra! Sinatra! I know I said that Cricketude isn't great, but you are proving that right now. <laughs> Please, I love you. You are my shiny bug, and I really want to keep you. So don't, don't miss at the worst possible time. Like, I'm fine with you missing like right now when nothing's at stake, because you're still at full HP. But if you miss at the worst possible time and you die, I will be sorely pissed, and it will be your fault. <sighs> don't think it's doing enough for one fury cutter. It's gonna finish it off. Oh no, never mind. Okay, thank you, Sinatra. Don't have the XP share yet. You can't. I don't believe I can get that until I beat this gym. So Squishy's gonna get a bit lower leveled. All right, let's switch into Scarlet. Yeah, Nala isn't going to be of much use, and Squishy is pretty much just death fodder if I ever send him in. Because, I don't know, Scarlet can at least frustration, and frustration is still really strong. And it will be for a while, because Scarlet doesn't like me yet. <laughs> I don't know. I wish I had a Luxury Ball, but you can't get those until Sunny Shore City. <laughs> now, the Sooth Bell's gonna come in handy. Gonna make this process about half as painful. And Badoo again! And then I'm gonna have to give Sinatra and Scarlet Perilous Heals, and we can continue on our merry way. 
There is only three trainers in this gym. I want to say in Diamond and Pearl there's four. But that's kind of made up for by the fact that you know, Gardenia seems a lot tougher in Platinum to me. But she's really hard in both games because of Roserade. Unless you have, like, Monferno, you're going to struggle. Even with two bugs and a flying type, I could struggle. Scarlet. Okay, thanks. So I brought, bought some regular potions just for situations like these. But it's kind of that awkward spot where, do I want to waste a super potion? Well, I'll be switching back to Sinatra anyways, but I should really just de-paralyze both of them. The more beautiful a flower, the faster it withers. Every time you beat a trainer, the floral clock moves. The fountain also stops if I lose. It's so you can get to the Pokemon Center during your challenge. Yeah, that fountain will stop. I think it would be really interesting if the fountain didn't stop, but I can get why they made it stop. So yeah, now you can walk across the fountain. But first, let's give some Parla's heels to Sinatra and Scarlet. And I've already halfway down Parla's heels. Yep. Things love stunts for in this gym. Let's fight you! You can't win when you're distracted by the lovely aromas of Pokemon. And it's another aroma lady, Angela, who has a Roselia, okay. Alright, Sinatra, you're the same level, you resist it, and you do hit it for neutral damage. Let's go for Sing, just so I don't have to deal with Stun Spore shenanigans. And then... Get a Cutter. Yeah, this is gonna be a while. Cricket Tot learns Bug Bite at level 16. But Cricketune doesn't get Bug Bite for whatever reason. So, yeah, Cricketune has to deal with the long, slow grind to get Bug Buzz. Also, Sinatra missed again, but that's to be expected at this point. And now Sinatra's paralyzed. Come on, Sinatra, I thought you were... I mean, you're still alive. You're not dying, but you're not exactly being helpful. Hey, at least you didn't miss with Sane. And now, let's go back to Fury Cutter. Yeah, this is why Fury Cutter isn't a good move. It, it did get the... Okay, never mind. Level 30. Level 30. I get X Scissor. And level 46, I get Bug Buzz. So I'm stuck with Fury Cutter until level 30, so 10 more levels of Fury Cutter, which just isn't going to work. Anyway, it's just like your inability to conceal your abundance skill. And yay, I got 608p for winning. The floral clock moves and time flows. There's only our gym leader left. Go on, don't be afraid. Yeah, I do love the gym's redesign for Platinum. But I am going to be rushing back to the Pokemon Center just to restore PP since Sinatra's down some Fury Cutters and he could possibly take on Turtwig. So let's charge! Yeah, a lot of the gym. I actually like a lot of the gym designs in, gym, in Diamond Pearl Platinum. I remember struggling a lot with Candace's as a kid, which is actually if, if we make it to Candace, I have a feeling I'll struggle with her again, her gym. Well, not like her herself, but like her gym puzzle. It's 
It's an ice physics challenge. <laughs> it's actually a really well thought out thing and they haven't really done anything like that before or since. Although they have used ice physics, they haven't used it in that specific way. Basically, you slide down a slope in order to destroy snowballs. But if you miss, you don't get to go back, and every step you take slides you forwards. It's really interesting, but anyways. Gardenia! I don't have very many words for you. I do kind of like you as a generator, you just aren't really that memorable. <laughs> but I'm going to fight you! I'm Eternus Gym Leader, Gardenia, the Grass-type Master. When I first saw you, I was convinced you'd find your way to me. My hunt was right on the money. You have a winning aura about you, and three Pokemon that are that are super effective against grass. So anyway, this will be fun. Let's have our battle. Okay, let's fight Gardenia. And put back a normal speed on. She has a Turtwig, making her the only gym leader in the series. Unless Blue, I'm not, I can't remember if Blue has one. But she's the only gym leader in the series to have a starter Pokemon. Off to a great start. She also taught it a TM and Reflect, which is going to be a huge pain. Because Sinatra missed Sing twice. Sinatra. 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 Sinatra needs... Okay, Sinatra needs glasses. <laughs> Here, would you like my glasses, Sinatra? Would that make you more able to hit stuff? <laughs> Sinatra Razor Leaf. Okay, I might actually have to switch you out because Razor Leaf has a high chance for critical hit. Okay, now I think I can take Okay, Reflect is off. So provided Sinatra doesn't miss. Thank you. Okay, next one should take it- oh, never mind, Reflect. So it'll do about the same. I wanted to have Sinatra fight Turtwig just so I can conserve Hat- yes, Hatman and Bunny Bun. Oh, good job, Sinatra. Critical hit. That makes up for all the times you just missed. Now, my other two in the back are both four times resistant to- anyways, here's her Cherim. I could have gotten this, but I got Honey Bun. And it'll warp into its happy form, and it's adorable, and I love it. But let's fight you with Batman! Because it's the Dark Knight versus the Bright Flower, I don't know. I really just trust Honey Bun more to take on that Roserade. It's no joke. One thing I can't remember- oh, never mind. I was gonna be slightly worried if it had Solar Beam or something, but the sun's gone. The Reflect is still up? Yeah. Yeah, the Reflect- I mean, Batman's not very strong in the first place, but the Reflect is definitely still up. Alright. Okay. Okay, Reflect's off. This next one should do it then. Leech Seed! Leech Seed. Is it gonna- No, it's not. Is the Leech Seed gonna take it out of healing range? Because if it isn't, I have more wing attacks to do. Batman might actually die. Batman might actually die. To a Cherim! It's a Cherim! Alright, I will try one more hit with Batman. And then I'm gonna switch him out. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, that was stupid of me. Sorry, Batman. I'm an idiot. You were kind- of, you did kind of save the team just by your- you did save me in this playthrough just by existing. I completely forgot about Leech Seed. <gasps> Batman! Yes! You're alive! Thank you! Oh my god, I'm so sorry about that. Thank you for not dying, Batman. <laughs> Alright, Honey Bun, you're gonna have to bring us home here. Thank you, Batman, for just living. Safeguard. 
Okay, so now I can't hit Roserade with status conditions. Which isn't a problem because Honey Bun has no status conditions. And everyone, all of my bug grass killers again. And it's Roserade, okay? Level 22? It's not the end yet. No, it's my strongest versus your strongest, and you're not really poison stone. Yeah, I'm not particularly concerned anymore. Yeah, unless she pulls off something crazy. Nope, she's just gonna poison stone. Okay, Gardenia, you had your say. You kind of... That was kind of pointless, really. You... Oh, Citrus Berry. Oh, I should have gone with Bug Bite. Are you gonna do anything besides Poison Sting? Nope. Goodbye, Gardenia. It was... I don't know. Oh, Poison, okay. Now that you poison me, are you going to do anything besides Poison Sting? Unless you have another potion. Nope, that's it. <laughs> no, you're not. I thought you. I remember you being tougher than this. I remember having some trouble with you before. I mean, you did nearly kill Batman, but that was more because of me being an idiot. Thankfully, Batman is still alive with 1 HP. Sinatra needs glasses, though. And Honey Bun's gonna grow a level. She gets all the XP from that. Amazing, you're very good, aren't you? You're very, you're very good, aren't you? I might have said it before, but you're really tough. And so is Batman for living with 1 HP. Wasn't it hard for you to raise your Pokémon to be so good? I guess that's a measure of how much you love your Pokémon. In recognition of that, I proudly grant you this. And yay, I have the Forest Badge! Awesome. So... It, we got our first badge in episode 4, and our second badge in episode 10, or 11. So it took 7 episodes, 6 not counting the training episode. Okay, cool. Now that you have 2 gym badges, all Pokémon received in trades will obey you up until level 30. And we're gonna get the TM86 Grass Knot. It's... It's pretty much just the heavier the foe, the more damage they cause, because you tie a knot in grass and trip your opponent. Can Sinatra learn Grass Knot? Can anyone on my team learn Grass Knot? That would actually be pretty interesting. I mean, Scarlet can learn Grass Knot. But I'll hold off on that for now, because Scarlet is a physical attacker. Actually, you know what, Honey Bun? Let's give you an antidote. Yeah, if we didn't have Honey Bun, if I didn't get my Honey Tree encounter, Batman would have died, and then... I'm not sure if I would have won the battle, because Sinatra seems to have no accuracy anymore. Okay, hold up. What's Fury Cutter's accuracy? Ninety-five. Ninety-five. And then Sing isn't obviously 65, 55 worn really bad. Ninety-five accuracy with Fury Cutter, and you missed that many times. It's at least four in this one gym. Wow, okay. Um, let's put Squishy in the front, since he's now a little behind, and go heal up. And now, I don't think we're gonna do it this episode. This might actually be a pretty short episode. And we can fight one or two trainers in the Galactic Building, and the next time make it up to the top. But yeah, now it's time to... Oh wait, I get an A. I know Cynthia gives an A, and then... Someone's gotta get cut. Um, you know what, let's deposit Nala for you. Just to go get the egg. Someone's got to get cut, and I have a feeling Sinatra is the only one on my team capable of learning cut. Oh, Scarlet. Honeybun can cut stuff. 
I'm gonna give it Sinatra because Sinatra has growl and growl I won't use, whereas the other ones in them, even Sweet Scent could have some use by calling it a Pokemon. Sinatra learned cut. Okay, now let's go grab an egg. And then... Oh, never mind, I'm dumb. Okay, so Cynthia will give me an egg after... After the Team Galactic building. But yeah. Basically, if we talk to some of these NPCs here, they will mention some things that I'll show you once I grab Nella. I believe it's the school kids, specifically. Team Galactic took my Pokémon away. They took other people's, too. Something should be done, but Team Galactic crickets everyone out. What are they doing to my Pokémon? Hi, you cute little train. Okay, this one isn't... Ooh, the friendship checker. That's gonna be really helpful. Since both Batman and Scarlet evolved via friendship. Also, when I first put Batman in my party at the end of the episode, I set, a I set this. Once I get to 36,000 steps, Batman is guaranteed to evolve. So I might run around in circles between each episode. Okay, where's the friendship check? I think it's this thing. Not entirely sure how it works, but there it is. Let's just go back to this one. So yeah, we have to go to the Team Galactic building to save not only that kid's Pokémon, but other people's Pokémon. And also, the bicycle shop owner who went in there to try and save the Pokemon, but he got captured too. So now we have to go save the bike shop owner. But first, if we go back here, we can get the TM4, I believe it's Snatch. Which isn't really that useful, but... Oh, it's Thief! It's slightly more useful. Yay, Thief! I might give that to Scarlet late at a later time for Fantina, just so she can hit Fantina for weakness. And then I might go in with Scarlet there. But we've been spotted the second we enter. Hello, it is me. Me. Ha ha ha. I startled you, yes? It's Looker. I am, after all, an officer of the International Police. It is only natural that I be a master of disguise. Looker! Looker, why? 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 There's Team Galactics there. You don't want to... Never mind. I therefore think you'll be okay, but I must warn you to be careful anyway. Also, a word of advice. This building, it has two stairs. One of them, a trap it must be. Are you Yoda? Looker is Yoda? But the crooks of Team Galacta, Galactic, they do not appear, how shall I say, smart. There should be an easy way to tell the stairs apart. And now he's back to being shady grown up one. Okay, here's how you tell it apart. The path you choose leads to glory. But, since I want to fight trainers, who do I have fun? Uh, Sinatra is a higher level than... I haven't actually used Nala in a while, so if you fight... Let's go fight some guys. We are acquiring Pokémon for a most astonishing undertaking. Your meddling won't be tolerated. So sorry, sweetie. Team Galactic has no room for kitties. And now, let's fight. It's a double battle with Shady Grown Up 1 and Shady Grown Up 2. With their Zubat and their other Zubat. Okay, so Nala was the perfect choice for this. <coughs> so yeah. Um, Squishy, since you don't have Hidden Power Ice, rip, rip, you hit that one, and Nala one-shot this one. Yeah, I'll probably fight this these two, and then call it a day. Unless these two take a short amount of time, in which case I'll explore what's upstairs in here and then call it a day. But I really need to end it soon. Don't want to make my videos too long, after all. And, okay, Squishy is just barely gonna... Hey, Stunky! Ooh, hey, it's part poison type. Squishy, you can mud bomb that thing. Now let's spark this one.
Okay, so that's it for you. And you're going to screech. Okay. And mud bomb it, Squishy. And a Glamio, so pretty much just the generic galactic Pokemon. I do like that they the subordinates have the unevolved Pokemon that their commanders have. I think that's a pretty cute touch. And Scratch, you're gonna go for not the one that I screeched, okay. Or not the one that has lower defense. You're instead gonna go for Squishy. I don't entirely get you. I mean, based on that, a squish. <laughs> squishy. I don't. I don't. You needed glasses before this. I didn't realize Sinatra did too, but seriously. Why does my entire team need glasses? I mean, I get it's an 85% chance move. Yeah, I made the right. <gasps> Come on! Okay, I'm fine, unless Squishy misses again, in which case Scarlet might actually die if they double target her. Hmm. Thank you for not missing, Squishy. And then Scarlet can finish off Glamio with a quick attack. Okay. There, that got scary because Squishy missed. <sighs> but otherwise, fine. I feel like I feel like I got meddled with. But but, dearie, you're just a kid. <gasps> is she? Okay, this is Iris. This is anime Iris. But anyways, let's. Oh, there's another guy. I'm gonna sneak around you. I'll fight you in the next episode. And it's an X feed, so that was entirely pointless. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time on the next episode of the Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Bye bye.